Salute omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. We finally made it through the wilderness, we finally made it through, but there are four stages left, so there's still plenty to do. Now we must tackle stage three, Fire Grotto. Going down? Stage 3 is basically like a volcanic cave. It doesn't start out looking much like one, but just wait. In the first stage, though, you just kind of go downward in this elevator-ish thing. I like to keep the magic suit off here so I can handle the blocks. Well, the bad news is I missed him, but the good news is he missed me too, so... Now there, you have to be quick, because if you're not, then you get caught by the spikes. I don't think the spikes themselves are actually instant death, but you do get crushed. So, it doesn't really matter whether there's spikes there or not. So now we come to the end of the stage, where we fight... a mid-boss. Which, oddly enough, is in the first stage in this... or in the first part of this stage, rather than the second. <laughs> Yeah, when he hits the ground with his hammer... Ow. You want to get out of the way in case the uh, ground directly under you goes up. Because if it does... I started thinking, yeah, thinking I was playing a Mega Man game there for a minute and tried to slide. Yeah, if you let him make the ground go up, then obviously it'll shove you into the spikes and... You don't want that. So that's the end of 3-1. At the start of 3-2, we get another new outfit to wear. A fireman suit. Not like the four, uh, Fahrenheit 451 kind. Like one that actually shoots water. Has quite a bit of ammo, actually. You can, you'd expect, as you'd expect, water is quite useful in a fire stage. You can use it to put up these little fire enemies, and you can use it to push stuff. Actually, I think stage 3 might be my favorite in the game, or at least one of my favorites. It has pretty cool music. It's not too short, oops. Yeah, that fire isn't instant death either, but obviously, as I just so kindly demonstrated, it hurts you. So... back to regular because there's no sense in using the fire suit to get or fireman suit to get rid of these when we can just pick them up. Gotta love the music. Nikki's Magical Quest has a good soundtrack. Sort of the second one, third one, but not as good as the first one. Really. And they managed to pull it off with only six channels too. Except, like, one or two of the main themes. Uh, that would be bad timing. Normally I'd be worried about conserving energy, but you get quite a bit of Quite a few shots with the fireman suit anyway, so... Okay, we can't get over there directly, so... Yeah, that's the problem here. 
most platforms are on fire, you can't touch them without getting hurt. And those little holes in the wall set them on fire, so... Like I said, no, I showed, you can put them out with... Ooh, one up! One ups are extremely rare in this game, so it's a darn good thing that you have unlimited continues. I have never been able to figure out the timing of those, um, whatever you call them, fire vents. So usually, if I, I just say, well, if I get hit by jumping on it when it's fiery, then that's too bad. Here the platforms can be set on fire just by touching the fire all around. Oh dear. Come on, when is that other platform going to come back? Dang it, do I have to go all the way off over here to make it respawn? I miss that, like, every time I play this game, I swear. Is it not gonna respawn at all? Do I have to actually kill myself? I can find any extra hearts over here or something. Yeah, well, I'm gonna die anyway because if the platform. Well, if the platform isn't there, then. Okay, it is. I'll check to see if there's something over the right. No, over there. there. Yeah. Like I said, that was kind of dumb. I forgot the when I was on doesn't go all the way. So now I'm all the way back at the beginning of the level. I don't even know what to call these. It's like... The worlds are already called stages, so what do you call the individual parts of the stages? Whoops. That one didn't need, be, need to be put out. I don't think any of the stuff will respawn either. Maybe it will. Between lives at least. If I'd gotten that without dying, or if I hadn't died and then tried to go back and get it again, I think the coins would turn into apples, or something. Oh dang it, I hate it when they do that to me. Is this still one up? Oh hey! Infinite lives! Sort of. I suppose the safest thing to do would be to go right... Like, when the platform's just slightly out of the range of the... Fire thing. Or when the fire thing has just flared up, so it won't do it again for a while. I wonder if that platform's gone entirely in hard mode. I never played on hard, so... That was dumb. Also, I'm glad your coins save between... Dang it. I'm 
glad your coin saved between lives, too. That wasn't the case in Mickey's Magical Quest 2. You got more coins from the blocks, but your coins did not save, which was rather annoying, considering how few extra lives there are in these games. So now we're on to 3-3. There we have these moving blocks. Ow. Yeah, don't let him squish you. You'll want to have the fire suit equipped here because you can push the moving blocks with it. Push into places where they're not as much, where they're less in the way. Ow. You want to be quick here, because if you still have any blocks blocking you, it's entirely possible that you won't be able to get in there to get the coins at all. Th Whoa! Dang it. That would have been really cool if I had actually pulled it off without getting hit. And now the fire moves. And we'll probably want regular- Oh, that did not happen! Oh, jeez. One of these things needs to give me a... well, there it is. And I just lost that heart that I got. Oh, I should probably change to magic so I don't... well, die. Yeah, one of these things, this one. Here we go. Full heart refill, plus one. Can't complain about that, whoops. Forgot. I was supposed to stay magic. And now we have platforms in combination with both fire and water. I'm not sure if you can take hits from being from ducking down in the water too long. I don't think I've ever seen it happen personally, but it's possible. Okay, now this thing gives you a one-up, but if you just let it do its thing right now, It'll fall right down into the pit, so you want to put a block under it, or catch it before it falls. And here's where you really get to have fun pushing around the blocks. I actually seriously considered porting the entire soundtrack of this game. something up there, and I intend to find out. Well, actually, I think it's one of those general stores. So. I think this is the only stage in the game that I've actually come close to running out of time on. Maybe even actually run out of time. There we go. But as... I remember correctly, I'm pretty close to the end, so... Yep, it's a general store, and they're sold out of the only item I ever buy. So... So, now we can continue on our regular progress. Leap of Faith! Success. The safer way to do it would have actually been to go down there and see what was up ahead of me, but... And we come to 3-4, the boss stage. There really isn't much to this one except a boss. And for once, this one doesn't have Pete's face. And this one doesn't have a set number of hit points either. What you have to do is keep spraying it with water, which will make the fire in its mouth get smaller. And every time it changes color, well, it has three different colors, and every time it changes color, the platforms change direction. Okay, maybe only the first time, but... Yeah, just keep spraying it until it dies, pretty much. And the platforms get faster every time, so... Wow, that's gotta be the quickest I've ever defeated that boss. But yeah. Really nothing much to it. Just watch out for the flames it shoots, and if it sets the platform on fire, put it out. 
or if you run out of ammo. Well, I guess if you run out of ammo, you're pretty much hosed, but if you're almost out of ammo, you can let it set a platform on fire and then put the platform out and you'll get more ammo. So, that's stage three clear, so we're halfway through the game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.